proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the United States Army. Our presentation is entitled, The Dragon Returns. Two returning sergeants of the United States Army, en route to their homes to enjoy a hard-earned leave, find mystery and excitement in San Francisco's Chinatown. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first... The man who measures up will succeed anywhere. For a life of excitement and adventure, join the United States Army. You see, the Army is the proving ground, the place for the men and the boys part company where, in a few short months, you'll learn more about how to take care of yourself and how to lead others than you could in a lifetime of civilian activity. In the Army, your opportunities for advancement and leadership are unlimited, but you've got to have what it takes. Right now, the Army has a new program, in effect, that permits you to enlist directly for training in the specialty of your choice. And here's how it works. You make application for the course of your choice and then take a qualifying examination. Now, all this before you enlist. If you're accepted and a vacancy exists, a class space will be set aside in your name. Now, if, on the other hand, the classes are filled, or if for some reason you happen to fail the qualifying exam, then you're under no obligation to enlist and no obligation whatsoever. Here's an opportunity for you to serve your country and build a man-sized career for yourself that will take you as far as you want to go. Visit your local United States Army recruiting station today for complete details. And now your Army presents the proudly we hail production, The Dragon Returns. Boy, I never thought I'd spend my first evening back in the States from the Far East in San Francisco's Chinatown. Yeah, but I tell you, it'll only take a minute. Gee, I've got presents for my Aunt Ruth, my Uncle Harry, my kid brother. Yeah, I know, I know. Your Uncle Ray, your cousin Edith, yeah, and your... And I forgot uh... to get one for Grace. How do you like that? My own sister and I forget it. Well, come on, hurry it up. Hey, how about this place? Ah, oh, no, that's only junk in there. I want something real classy for Grace. I, I can't let her know I didn't bring anything for her. That's why we had to come down here. I... I can buy something and she'll never know that it didn't come all the way from Tokyo. Well, for that matter, it probably will have. Everything around here is made in Japan. Hey, here's a place. Very exclusive. They just got one thing in the window, that jade dragon. I don't know. Looks like it might be expensive. Yeah, come on, I like it. Let's find out. What's it good for? How should I know? I just like it. Maybe a doorstop, huh? Come on, this green door. Let's go in. Good evening, gentlemen. Yeah, good evening. Uh, can I show you something? Uh, the statuette, the dragon in the window. The dragon? I, I do not think so. Uh, something else, perhaps, but uh, not the dragon. Why, it's for sale, isn't it? It's uh, very expensive. Well, that's all right. It's a present for my sister. Oh, it's for your sister? Yeah. How much is it? That depends. Is it real, Jade? Of course. Yeah, how much? For your sister, the Jade dragon... Ten dollars and seventy-two cents. Oh, that's too much. Five dollars and seventy-two cents. It's a deal. Wrap it up. Hey, well. Hey, that's too cheap for Jade. Must be something wrong with it. I'll take a look. Uh, here, let me let me look at it. That is the one you want. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it looks okay to me too. Real nice. You'll like it. Gee, you sure got a good price. Yeah, almost half. That's good enough. Here you are. Oh, thank you very much. Well, where to? I don't know anywhere. Let's get out of this neighborhood. It gives me the creeps. Gee, 
see, this was sure a night. We've certainly seen San Francisco. Too bad we couldn't get a train for tomorrow, but it'll give us another day to see the town, anyhow. Yeah. I'm getting anxious to get home, though. Hey, Dick, there's the cable car we want. We need it to get back to the hotel. Come on, let's go. Oh, darn it, we missed it. Oh, got it. Ah, well, we'll ride one tomorrow. Yeah. Might as well walk from here. It's only a few blocks. All downhill, too. Yeah. That's one thing about Briscoe. Everything's so close, you know. Hey, look down that street there, will you? Isn't that a view? I have a gun in your back. What? Please, do not cry out. Hey, what's the idea? Careful, Dick. He's not kidding about the artillery. I can feel it. Your wallet, please. But she... Okay, okay. Why don't you pick on someone else? All we've got is about ten bucks between us. And now the package, please. And that's all we have. Thank you. That will be sufficient. Hey, he's heading for that car. Quick, see if we can get the license. So, you see, Lieutenant, we, we couldn't get the license number because they were driving without lights. No, excuse me. Don't pray, sing, Lieutenant. She's speaking. Yes. Yes, I'll be through here in a few minutes. Okay, right. You couldn't make it out, huh? No, the street lights weren't too bright on that corner. But uh, you think it was oriental type, huh? Or about how big? Uh, about like me? About. He, he was more slender than you. As a matter of fact, Lieutenant, he looks something like you. And mm -hmm. We just came back from the Far East. We don't think all orientals look alike. Uh, oh, that's something. But you did get a pretty good look at him? Well, I did, when, when he was turning to go back to the car. Yeah, he was polite, too. He said, please. Oh, that's good, too. Uh, from what I gather, anyway, uh, you're not out too much. Uh, about $12 in this uh, Jade Dragon. That's right. See, now I have to go out and buy my sister another present. Well, it's a good thing you left your travel money in the safe in the hotel. Hey, you can be thankful for that. You're not just kidding. Well, Lieutenant, nice of you to bother with us. Not at all. I was in the service myself, so I take a personal interest in any report that involves military personnel. Well, we we uh, just want to report this in case you could get a line on this guy so we won't be bothering someone else. You did exactly right. Good night, Lieutenant. Uh, good night. Well, a couple of fine soldiers, Lieutenant. Yes, Sergeant, they are. Wonder who are Oriental Hood is. Huh? He's new to me. Maybe not to me. Well, this wouldn't be mixed up with that thing you're working on, would it? I would be willing to lay a little money on it. But by tomorrow night, I might know more. It's right in here somewhere. But we've walked this block four times already. None of these places look like it. That's the one over there, I'm huh? sure of it. Hey, they've sure changed the window, then. Look, look at all that junk. Yeah, but I remember the door. It was green. That's the only green one on the block. Come on, let's try it. All right. Still don't see why you have to come back to the same place as last night anyway. You can probably buy a dragon in any one of these places. Yeah, but I want one just like that one. I like it. Come on, let's go in. All right. Hey, look, it's a girl behind the counter now. So it is. Good morning. Can I help you? Uh, we we bought a dragon in here last night. Last night? Yeah, and, and we lost it. We, we'd like another, just the same kind. I do not understand. Well, it was about, about eight inches high, green jade. A dragon last night? Yeah. Do you have another one? This is very peculiar, Sergeant. Are you sure it was here? Oh, well, sure, pretty sure. Well, I'm positive. I, I, I noticed the door, the green door. It's the only one in the street. But, Sergeant, you see, I am afraid I cannot help you. Oh? Well, when will your father be back, or whoever it was who was here last night? We bought it from him. I have no father. At least he has been dead for several years. Well, and who was the man who, who was tending the shop last night? I do not know what you mean. You see, Sergeant, I own the shop myself. I have owned it since my father died five years ago. I run it myself, and I employ no one else. And, Sergeant, I am never open in the evening. Well, there was someone here last night. Impossible. I closed and locked the shop at 5.30, as I always do. I'm sure this is the place. And I am just as sure that it could not be. Of course, I will show you something else, if you like. It was a jade dragon you were interested in. I have nothing like that here, as you can see. But perhaps a vase? 
Or some nice rustler? Not interested. Come on, Sam, let's go. Yeah. That's a hot one. Are you sure that was the place? I couldn't be more positive. But she said that... I don't care what she said. She was lying. But why? I don't know. I wish I did. Hey, Dick, look, up there. Why? That, that guy hurrying up that hill there. That's our stick-up artist from last night. Why? Couldn't be. But it is. I'm just as sure of it as you are about that store. Remember, I got a good look at him. You didn't. Come on, he's going in that shop. Let's go after him. Where's the guy that just came in here? In here? Oh, Sergeant, I think you're mistaken. Uh, no one came in here, as you can see. Brother, I think maybe I'm going nuts. We were following a guy up the street. We think he held us up last night. He turned in here. Unfortunately not. However, is there anything I can show you? That guy... Oh, I don't know. Please, look around. We have some very fine pieces. A statuette, perhaps. Here's a lovely little dragon. A dragon? Why, yes, brass, as you can see. Or perhaps something more practical? Here are some very fine cigarette boxes. Yeah, they're nice, but what about jade? Ah, jade, jade. Over here, please. You see anything you like? Yeah, what I had in mind is a jade dragon. Uh, Dick, come on, we're wasting time. Huh? Let's shove off. Oh, let's look around a We've little. We've looked. Okay, 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 I'm coming. What's the matter with you? What are you holding a raincoat like that for? It was dragging on the ground. You know, I might have found something in there for Grace if you'd have given me more time. It was a pretty nice shot. You did find something. Look, the jade dragon. You are listening to the Proudly We Hail production, The Dragon Returns. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Young man, be honest with yourself. Have you reached a standstill in life? Is each day just like any other? Are you worried about your future? And most important, are you feeling sort of dissatisfied with yourself and your personal development? Well, if this description or any part of it fits you, then it's just about time you investigated the wonderful opportunities waiting for you when you enlist in your United States Army. You see, in the Army, every man has a skill. And, more often than not, the Army taught him that skill in one of its fine technical training schools. The Army offers an interesting present and a secure future, with plenty of promotions along the way. And above all, the Army molds you into a man, a man whose family, friends, and country are proud of him. If you think you can measure up, Drop into your nearest recruiting station and see if you can qualify to wear the mark of a man, the uniform of your United States Army. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. Now we present the second act of The Dragon Returns. <laughs> Well, we got the dragon back. Pretty, isn't it? Pretty mysterious, if you ask me. Yeah. Funny turning up there. But well, it's the same one, all right. I can tell by this crack on the tail here. wonder how it got in that other store. Well, it didn't walk. Our friend of last night must have left it when he lammed through, dodging us. The other guy certainly did a cover-up fast. Well, that's that. You've got it back. We've called Lieutenant Chi to tell him, and now we can get on with our sightseeing. Hey, leave the dragon here. We don't want to lose it. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a pair of shoes here that need heels. I'll just drop them off on the way. I'll, uh, put them in this bag here. Okay, come on, let's go. Fisherman's Wharf, let's take a taxi. It'll be faster. All right. Taxi! Hey, taxi! Ah, uh, Fisherman's Wharf, please. Even the taxi drivers are oriental. You'd think we were back in Tokyo. Yeah. 
Hey, hmm? this doesn't seem right. Are you sure this guy knows where he's going? I don't know. At least he knows better than we do. Holy smoke, this is Chinatown again. Can't we get out of the Orient? Driver! Hey, hey, driver! He heard me, but he won't turn around. Probably taking us the long way around so he can charge us more. Hey, slowing down. Hey, this looks like the same place we found the dragon. Say, driver, what's the idea? Hey, he's stopping. All right, gentlemen, just step out quietly. Walk in store and nothing will happen to you. What the? Dick, he's got a gun. Look who it is. The guy who sold you the dragon. Well, I guess we don't have any choice. Very sensible, gentlemen. Very sensible. Come on. Move on. Ah, back already. My humble apologies, gentlemen, but you see, I felt sure that it was you who had taken my dragon from the back room. His dragon? Get him. The package you are carrying, please, Sergeant. The pa... Oh, yeah. The package. Now, if you will just accompany me to this other room, it is more quiet back there. Ah, yes. Now, I will just look at my little green jade dragon. What is this? I, uh, looks like a pair of shoes to me. What kind of joke are you playing with me? I warn you, I do not like games. Well, you see, they needed heels and I Where is the I... dragon? The dragon? Uh, oh, the dragon. Where is it? You mean that uh, little old jade dragon? You know there, what I mean? Gee, whatever happened to that thing, Dick? I don't know. I think it got broken. I can't recall. Oh, well, that's life. Wang, take them away. Move on, you two. Okay, Dick, do what the man says. You may get tired holding that cannon and accidentally let it go off. Yeah. And when they are secure, go back to their hotel and search the room. Sure is dark in here. Yeah. What do you think's gonna happen? How should I know? Anyhow, I know how a turkey feels when it's trussed up for roasting. <laughs> Don't you be pessimistic now, boy. He may not roast us. Well... Hey, Dick. I think I've got one of my ropes loose enough to... Hey, keep it down, for Pete's sake. You'll have everyone in the place in here. I got my legs free. Now, if I could... Hey, I made it. Where are you? I can't see a thing in this blasted cellar. Over here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Here, let me see if I can get these knots loose. Friend Wang took my knife away. Guess he was afraid I might cut myself. How the heck are we going to get out even after we've gotten untied? And I'm sure he didn't lock the door at the top of the stairs. Guess he was sure we were tied up for keeps. There must be a back way out. If there's no one in the little back room, we've got it made. Yeah, we'll go out the same way the guy who held us up did this morning. Hey, be quiet on those squeaky boards. Yeah. Some kind of alley. Never mind the view. Let's just get out of here. Well, the dragon's gone again. Not so much of a surprise. We should have put it in the hotel safe instead of leaving it in the room. But it had no value. I'm not so sure now. Shall we call Chi, the lieutenant? And have him think we're nuts? First you have it, then you don't. Yeah, then you... I guess so. Besides, there's nothing much more we can tell him. We've already connected the thing with that shop when we called him this morning after you stole it back. The funny part of it is that girl back at the place where we bought the thing. She didn't look like the type that'd be mixed up in a thing like this, you know? Just because she's pretty. No, no, that's not it. Just had a feeling about her. 
Oh, well. Oh, gosh, I just remembered. I still got to get something for Grace, you know. Oh, no, you don't. Not with me, anyhow. I feel like locking myself in this hotel room until it's time for our train tomorrow. Yeah, but, gee, they got back the dragon. They don't want us anymore. Still can't figure out why they wanted it. The, the, the tail was even cracked. Maybe it's an early Ming or something. Oh, who cares? Hey, Dick. Dick. Someone's turning the knob on the what? door. Hey, so they are. I'll get over here behind it and I can grab him. It's opening. Hey, hey. it's the girl. Close the door, Sam. Now, what's this all about? What are you doing here? I, I did not know you would be here. What did you think we were, tied up in a cellar? Yes, that is, I wanted to tell you something. Oh, come on now. You'll have to do better than that. No, really, I can explain. You frightened me. May I sit down? Well, go ahead. You know, you had us holding our breaths, too, and... In case you don't know it. I am so sorry. I really am trying to help. You see, my brother, he is in the army, too. I was trapped by Dr. Singh to leave store open with one of his men there. I tried to find out after you left today what it was about. And I did find out one thing. The dragon you bought was supposed to be sold to someone who would give a password. You must have said it by accident. What? Huh? Well, it seems to me they go to a lot of trouble in this town to make a sale. That is what worries me. I am mixed up in it now, and I am afraid there is something wrong, very wrong. And I thought... Yeah? Well, what did you think? I thought perhaps you could help. I do not want to go to police. Us? I thought you could at least find out what it is all about. I do not dare ask any more questions. There is going to be a meeting tonight, and... Uh, I thought... A meeting? What kind of a meeting? The tongue. They dress up in ceremonial Chinese gowns, and Dr. Singh is head of it. Now, if I could arrange for a back door to be left open, then maybe... Boy, the things you get me into. Hey... Was that Dad, you mean? Well, you started it all by buying that confounded statue. Shh, we're getting close to the main room here. Yeah, there's a crack of light over there. Must be the door. Hey, maybe uh, we can hear through it. Have they started? I can't tell. I'm gonna open it just a crack. Why not? All we can do is end up in another basement. doing anything. We're just making with the tea. Wait a minute. Sitting around the table. Well, I'll be doggone. Let me see. Hey, it's my dragon. Yeah. Here comes another guy. All dressed up. Hey, will you look at that mustache? That's a beauty. What's he doing? Shh, I don't know. Listen. Are you a stranger? Well, I've come uh, to make a purchase. What is it for? The dragon. It's a present for my sister. Quite so. $10 and 72 cents. Uh, too much. Very well. $5 and uh, 72 cents. That will be satisfactory. My gosh, he's giving him the money. No wonder they thought you were the right guy last night. You said everything right, just the way he said it. He's leaving. Quick. We may be able to get around the front of the building in time to catch him. There he is, coming out of the building. Yeah, he's getting in the car. Hurry, will you? Taxi! Hey, taxi! Where to? Oh, this guy look all right. We can't be choosy. Uh, can you follow that car that just pulled away? Yeah, I guess so. We don't go too fast. I don't want to get no ticket. Gee whiz, we probably should have called the lieutenant. Well, it's too late now. We're on our own. Okay, I'll pay you now. We're in a hurry. Looks like an apartment house. Hey, wait, Joe. I want to talk to you. Come on, let's go after him. Yeah, uh, grab him. I got him. Uh, let's go. Oh, Joe. Hey, the mustache, it's not real. For gosh sakes, it's Lieutenant Chi. So all Orientals don't look alike to you. Come on, come on inside with me. We may have been followed. A 
couple of fine amateur detectives. You wind up following the law. We were only trying to help. I wish you could tell us what this is all about, Lieutenant. I can't tell you much, but I can tell you one thing. You are lucky you have not been killed by now. These boys are praying for keeps. What do you know about this uh, dragon of yours? Nothing except what we told you. Yeah, hey, let me see that thing. What? Oh. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Slipped. For crying out loud, why oh. did... Hey, Lieutenant, look what fell out when it broke. Oh, let me see that. What is it? It's microfilm. I know, I used to work with it in Washington. This may put a new light on everything. Uh, she's speaking. Get me Inspector O'Brien. Yes. Yes, thanks. Of course, I still don't know exactly what it was all about. Well, I don't know all myself. I saw enough of those microfilms to know they contain military information. The Army and the FBI have them now. Now, we won't touch them again, and we may never know what they were. See, I was mixed up in it because I was trying to get our friend Dr. Singh on a bunco racket that I still suspect he was carrying on as a sideline to the espionage. They were all mixed up in it. Even the girl, uh, the one at the shop? No, you can relax. She was just what she said, an innocent dupe. No kidding. Gosh, what a night. I'm going to see that you two get a commendation from someone out of this. You took a terrific personal risk. Actually, I should throw the book at you for not calling me instead of going off on your own like that. Well, Lieutenant, we thought you'd think we were crazy or something. I suppose I might very well have, uh, if I had not been working on the case in the first place. Sam, you know, I was thinking, if we get up early tomorrow, maybe we'll have time to run up and get that present for Grace. Oh, no. Here's a word to young men and women who are high school graduates. Your United States Army is rapidly expanding. Young men and young women with the will to learn can get ahead fast in the Army. So why not, at this important time of your life, take advantage of the opportunities for advancement that can be yours by enlisting in the Army right now? Just pay a visit to your local United States Army recruiting station, and they'll be glad to give you all the facts. Be sure. Go Army. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Army. And this is Mark Hamilton speaking, inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>